just in case you still have some last minute shopping to do for the holidays, I wanted to bring you a catalog from Yakinto Publications, which unveiled an exciting new era of wargaming at Origin 79. I just got this in a little Hanukkah present, and I thought I would bring it to you in case you wanted to make some selections from it. Now that the wraps are officially off, it's your move to test your skill, to try your luck, to pit your ability against the changing fortunes of war. Prepare yourself for startling new adventures as you sweep through the past, present, and future toward thousands of different battlefield situations where each outcome differs from the last. You're invited to shape and reshape history at will. Travel through time and space, and your imagination will be free to roam the world, the stars and beyond, in, shape of new, in search of new challenges, as history will unfold before your eyes. So I thought we'd just take a brief look in here in case there's something of interest to you. Nice four-color catalog. Really get great condition in a game that I just got, and I'm going to be bringing you at some point an unboxing of that game, which is Starfall. This is a test of scientific extrapolation. Please check the following boxes if your answer is yes. I am bored with space travel. I believe that if you have seen one galaxy, you've seen them all. Encountering, conquering, and lo looting alien worlds puts me to sleep. If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you haven't played Starfall. And here is the description of Starfall, which I won't read. Maybe I'll save that for the video that I will do at some point. And um, it says, if you're looking for a game that is filled with excitement and tension, just pass over the event horizon lock on target and depress your megabuck projection for 13 bucks. That's Starfall. Then we have CV, five minutes that changed history. Only five minutes after the Japanese cheered the slaughter of the American torpedo bombers, three of their largest aircraft carriers were shattered and burning in one of history's most dramatic reversals. CV covers the decisive battle of Midway with style, detail, and accuracy. Can you, as the American admiral, with thorough knowledge of the Japanese strength and positions, hold strategic Midway Island? More description about that, including 800 extra thick die cut counters. And if you haven't seen a Yakinto game before, uh, when I show it to you, you will see they really are extra thick. They're really awesome. So this is CV for $18. Next offering, well, it's this is seen. Oh, folding it out. Let's see. Oh, here is a letter to the gamers from the company. Haven't I seen you someplace before? Dear gamer, it is with great excitement and anticipation that we write these few words to you. We are greatly pleased as well as proud to announce to you the birth of a new wargame company. If you are thinking, oh no, not another one, perhaps a short explanation of who we are will help reduce your doubts. Then it goes on to describe the firm, and I don't think I will read you all of that, but I'll sort of slowly pan through it if you're interested in skimming it yourself or stopping the video and looking a little bit more. They say the final member of the team is the Robert Yakinto Printing Company a company that saw the potential of these three individuals and placed their trust in the capital, the production facilities, and other resources necessary to establish a major concern in the hobby inventory. As you read this inventory of games in the Yakinto Publications warehouse is surpassed by probably no more than two or three other war game manufacturers. Our facilities are unsurpassed by any, and our potential is unequaled. With all this going for us, there's only one thing that can slow us down, our desire to please you. We absolutely refuse to crank out titles for the sake of sales. Right now, we are gathering commitments from some of the best-known game designers in the world. We are also cultivating lesser or completely unknown people who, feel, who we feel have something to offer, etc. I don't actually know how many games they ended up publishing. Um, I'll try to find that out and put that up on the screen here. I guess there's an offering um, of some, maybe that's some minis. Plastic unit counter storage trays. These are their um, 
huge and uncovered storage trays, and they give you they give you directions in the game in the games they sell on how to you know make your own top for them so that the like hundreds and hundreds of counters don't fall out and uh, that's that would never work. Blank hex sheets, that's pretty cool. Ordering instructions, instructions on using the uh, postage return envelope. I guess I don't have that. The Beast Lord, I showed you this box top in um, briefly in one of the RPG videos I was doing. This guy in diapers always just kills me. I think it's hilarious art. And let's see, how much was the Beast Lord there? 15 bucks. The Beast Lord comes. Does he come on a mission of his own? Or has man or elf or goblin summoned his presence requesting his aid? Old Hatred's Flare. This is pretty typical, this kind of wide, long paragraph structure when you see in the rules of how they write their rules, and it's a little tough. There's a Let's see, tied to a humdrum life. This is the ad for the Beast Lord. There's a career opportunity, experienced thumbscrew operator required full-time, called Dingy Dungeons Incorporated. That's pretty cool. Wizard needed, must have thorough working knowledge of all combat spells. 90 to 150 years experience, must have degree. There's a lair for rent, one room, no windows. <laughs> Perfect location, no light, apply within. A night shift operator is an excellent opportunity for ambitious goblins. There's some, some light fighting required. Neatness, unimportant. Call the Beast Lord. That's an unlimited. I guess that's just open. Help wanted, opportunity for experienced, fast, and accurate archers. Must have own bow. Become a Kelly Ghoul. Immediate assignments and top pay. Kelly Ghoul has a job for you. We immediately need... Pillagers, wizards, giants, trolls, and looters. Well, that's pretty awesome. So that's a great ad for the Beast Lord, uh, a game that uh, at some point I thought I would do on the channel. I don't know if I ever will. And um, here we have Ultimatum. This is a game I admit I've never heard of before. It is a game of nuclear confrontation. You're about to enter the realm of the superpowers, a world engulfed in nuclear deterrence, empty negotiations, dangerous brinkmanship, and the inevitable ultimatum. Tells you what the contents of your survival kit has, and it's a strategic two-player game set in the atomic age. It focuses on diplomacy, the arms race, world domination, etc. Some, I don't know if that would be counter art or that's just their design. Well, here's some counter art. Finally, it says, if you've always wanted to have your finger poised over the button as you issued your final ultimatum, just issue us a check for 12 bucks. So that's ultimatum. And, oh, there, and there's more. An ad for Ironclads. Ironclads is a tactical level, simultaneous movement game of ship-to-ship -ship combat in the American Civil War. The ad for Ironclads, do your duty, fight until you sink. Says down here, the Ironclads so realistic that you may feel like cleaning the rust off the unit counters, but that's what you expect when you get an Ironclad deal for 15 bucks. And here is their, um, I guess maybe you make your own envelope. Maybe that's what the instructions were. Let's see if I, there's anything else I'm missing here. Yes. Time War, cool box there. Time War is an exciting new tactical level game that begins in the future. You can uh, operate time control building players, I guess time machines. And 400 extra thick die cut counters. If you've been looking for the ultimate challenge on the ultimate battlefield, your wait is over. Get your copy of Time War today. After all, it's about time. And there's their order form with, um, I guess you could get an extra rule book, the unit trays we mentioned, the black blank hex sheets. That's pretty nice opportunity. Someone might want to pick up the many faces of battle. 
Battle the Game of Generals is many games in one, an excellent introductory war game for novices. It also makes a fast and exciting and challenging contest for veteran gamers who lack the time for a full-size game, but still enjoy a grueling test of their wits and planning ability. There's movable terrain, allowing for a virtually infinite number of battlefield setups. And we get, of course, their patented screen to hide your activity. That's only seven bucks. That sounds like a deal. And here are some examples of counters from Panzer, a realistic tactical level game. Here, let me show you the box top. A realistic tactical level game of ground combat on the Eastern Front in World War II. Armored fighting vehicles rule the battlefields on the Russian steppes, and their strengths and weaknesses are accurately and playably duplicated by 49 data cards that display all information necessary to move and fight. Tells you about the scale and what you get for 16 bucks. Some high tech counter art right there. That's Panzer. And I think. I think that's the catalog. I think that's what we got for you. More ordering information, explanation on uh, assembling your own business reply envelope, which came, I see now, uh, is just built right in here. And there you go. Some offerings from Yakinto. Possibly their first catalog. It sounds that way. It certainly sounds that way from the letter that I excerpted there. And um, Beast Lord, Starfall, those made it into my collection. And I uh, thought you'd like to see that in case you have a little more shopping left to do. Thanks for watching.